Hello and welcome to Jujutsu Kai Quest. I'm Jim. I'm Sam. Yes, we're back. I know it's been a minute. Everybody's favorite, <laughs> least favorite J- JJK podcast. Yes. So we're here to talk about Jujutsu Kais in episode four. Four, right? Yeah. Um, the poison womb. The, po- <laughs> no, the curse womb. It's like entering the curse womb or something. Um, so before we start that, I do want to say it's been very, it's been um, a little bit since we recorded our first bit of episodes. Batch. Our our first, batch. This, is second, this is the start of the second batch. Second batch. <laughs> like the gremlins. Yes. The gremlins. Or the ghoulies. <laughs> um, so uh, it was very interesting seeing the criticism that we got. Um, people, Sam, people were mad at us. <laughs> But what? Because what, every and most people said it was. Like, it's, it starts slow, but it gets going. Like yeah, and okay. I just want to say we're only going to say this once because it doesn't make sense to keep reiterating it. Everything we say here are our opinions, and like we are wrong. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Half times in that time, no matter what we talk about, we end up being wrong. So just true. Like, but I disagree. No, I I disagree. I'm right. right. I'm always right, actually. But no, like you can totally, you dear viewer, can totally enjoy Jujutsu Kaisen out there. Um, we are just here because um, we wanted to see what this thing that everybody won't shut up about. Yeah, and, and your, it's like a log. peak shonen, yeah, as it, you call it. Think about it. It's like a it's like a log book. Like we're going through, we're going, we're giving our honest opinions. Like okay, this episode not so good. This episode a little better. So all right, just wanted to say, but we're this, not going to address this anymore. We're just going to talk about the other, episodes. Other, maybe like the actual like you know the comment that you do explain like the like uh, we had the one about the uh. By the, by the one manager or the idol guy was like didn't want to recruit her because she was speaking in a, in a masculine like yes like wording which i you know didn't catch because of you know subs yeah so that's okay i can't remember the comments i think their name was aa uh yes thank you for that that was exactly what sam said like because i think we said something about i think that was a thought that like you know maybe like it was like coming off like like the talk like like a mas- like masculine or just very assertive and like yeah, it was yeah. like a like a tomboy kind of thing. And if you look at like what the Japanese what it says in Japanese, it actually like it's like they use the male pronoun apparently. I don't know. I don't speak Japanese, so when <laughs> I when I see this when I watch this episode and the subtitles don't convey this concept to me, yes. I'm oh um, whatever. And this is such also a non important element of that episode. Yeah, but let's she, move on. Yeah. So overall opinions, episode actually pretty good i thought this one this yes, current one this yes one, so yes. episode four poison womb um <laughs> if you have not do not know control delete that we're going to make a reference to the poison womb <laughs> so honestly okay i have to say i was very like mixed with this one the first half i was like all right okay i guess we're just doing it i like, mean the, the first part half was more so explaining like the enemy power system yeah so okay very okay before well, let me just give my first impression then we'll go into like the grades mm-hmm. um but so i was like a little if you on that but the second half i really enjoyed the development i thought yeah um the uh, i thought finger man was villain, pretty... of the, villain of the year <laughs> from country Rose. finger man yeah. yeah um what's his name asukana I, I, As- I, do, do i want to test you if you know any characters names we did this last time and i didn't sam i didn't know a single one <laughs> and newsflash i still don't know any i will one. wait for the last batch of these and i will quiz you if you remember any okay. characters names i know oh, so far we have strawberry ichigo <laughs> Um, strawberry oh, sorry, Ichigo. Well, Ichigo means, means strawberry. <laughs> um, we have pink Ichigo. We have um, we have not Sasuke, and then we have not Sasuke. We have uh, whatever. We can't do this again. We don't, Hammer we are, Girl. We've already done this. Bit. Is, is the only character you know is Gojo. Goji. Gojo. Gojo. Yeah, yes. not Kakashi. Not Kakashi. Um, so I did enjoy the ending, though. I thought Fingerman was great. Yeah, Fingerman was a lot of fun. Yes. Um, his whole like kind of. Like, he, he's he's so clearly evil. Yes. And it's fun. And, like, seeing his thought he's process. Begr- he's, like, begrudgingly doing this because he didn't want to fight him at first, but it kind of just did and just fucked around with him. Yeah, it's funny to see. I'm, let's let's get to that bit in a minute. But, like, I really did enjoy his, like, like I think Finger Man really stole the show for yeah, me in the cause, second cause, half. Because I thought that they were going, because I think what, our first bat, I thought they were going to go with, like, a Karama. Like, I think you said that, too. We thought, like, oh, they're going to become, like, friends or whatever. Like, Nar- like, like Naruto did that. But it's obviously not the case because, it's, you know, he seems obviously evil. So, But I still think yet yeah, by the end, he will split from him and then they'll have, like, a fight. A proper him. fight. Because he seems... Because he can regrow limbs and everything to somehow, like, maybe eating enough fingers, he can, like, actually extract himself or shoot himself out. Oh, that'd be neat. 
Like that. That's like a little growth, like a creepy little like kind, Cell Junior. Because we know, he, yeah. Because obviously, know he like just even the other spirit could like bubble and like grow the yeah. flesh out. So I, I think at some point, like especially he can like had the mouth on him. Yes. Like the follies. Uh, he said, I think he's gonna split obviously from that. And our main character's not gonna die from that in the end. Um. So yeah. Um. So just going recapping the episode really quick. Yeah. They the our our main trio. Um. They go to a juvenile detention ward. They're told by a glasses guy. This is one of the teachers. Um, yeah, that there is a, um, and, there's a, there's a poison, there's a, there's a corrupted cursed womb <laughs> that is going to cause a big demon. We don't, or sorry, a curse. We don't know what it will be, but then he explains there's a system, a grading system for yeah, curses. Yes. It, it kind of jumps up a lot. <laughs> a very confused. It's, it's kind of like an exponential graph. Like, so from my understanding, it starts at six, right? grades I'm, I'm assuming you have it pulled up i'm going to it. pull it up now um I it's, 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 it's like five grades and then like a special yeah which is like he just like as someone who's seen a million shown and like you can see like okay we have like the power system or we have the setup but then we also have like the caveat of could be anything else so that the writer can just get more creative <laughs> okay. whenever it, it, there apparently there's some semi there's grade four which is a wooden bat is enough this is, like, this is like the weapons that will kill, like... Yeah. It so, said it's if if it could be attacked by normal weapons, I think yes. is what it said. Gr grade 3, if you have a handgun, you can rest easy. Uh, grade 2 is close call with a shotgun. So, okay, already, the jump between grade 3 and 2 is pretty... Like, goes from, like, okay, you're what, good what, with what a gun... If, what if that gun's a desert eagle that's a, that <laughs> could, like, literally probably be, like... A deagle. Yeah, two deagles. And then, so, yeah, and then 2 is, like... Close call, so it's already like the gap is already pretty wide between it's like, that. This is like the system of like Resident Evil, like like the actual like mute, like unique monsters that are the zombies. Like there's like, zombies to like the liquors that use a shotgun uh -huh. that be close and just just like like special infect it. Uh, grade one, even a tank might be insufficient. Even even so, grade two is I could use a shotgun maybe. Grade one is a tank would not work, <laughs> or it might it might not work. Yeah, yeah. And a special grade is cluster bombs might work. A carpet bomb from like a stealth bomber. It says carpet bomb of cluster bombs, which to me sounds a little redundant, but yes, um, yes. So our sorcerers have to uh, go in there now. Uh, there's like a veil that kind of shields them from the outside world. So I'm, I'm not 100 percent understand that because we didn't Neither. really get to see that into effect. Does it like just hide them from humans in that world? Because we didn't see yeah. any. Or does it like just mess? It's just like an illusion to keep the outside world seeing anything wrong going on here in case it kind of, like, you know, something explodes or a demon busts out or something. Yeah. Even though they say like demons can't, uh, don't like the special ones don't like to leave their birth place. Yeah, I think to me, and so yeah, before anyone jumps down our throats, they literally don't explain this. They say, they seem to imply that it is for concealing at least on this episode two humans yeah, yeah at least on this episode they didn't explain it yeah that's what i mean like we haven't because we haven't seen the whole series yet yes we only know what's in this episode yes so it seems like this is to conceal it from humans outside maybe it, it does kind of contain it in a way if it does then i would just okay. it seems like why wouldn't you just always do this then well we might see it more in effect than next episode when i guess the demon finger man does it uh does his shit yeah so so you so yeah, we get um our three trio. Uh, <laughs> your Sas Sasuke, uh, he, he summons his summons his pupper that we saw in the first episode. You can pet it. That's good to know. Yes, very they, important. You can interact with these. They're not like like illusions or like just magic like things. Or like they seem to be legit like animals. Like they're 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 real and they're like we are, um, tangible. They're like actually yes, there. You can pet the pupper. Because we see, because he su he summons Zat, he summons like a bird. Like, they're all like like weird though, like demon animals kind of. Cause, mm. Like the the wolves have like a marking on their heads. I uh, compared to like the the girl from Guilty Gear has that. The bird looks kind of weird. He's like has, human like, teeth. Very cool. Has I like a mask the bird. On. I like the frog. Oh yeah, there's, we see the frog too, yeah. and the snake, and we see a snake. Yeah, and the snake. The snake looked cool. I have to say, the way that these creatures, just like except Sasuke. the dogs, <laughs> just like Sasuke, could summon a snake. Sure. <laughs> I need to do compare with it. The way that these creatures were animated, I thought was really cool. Like they have a different like. It's like the line art is like thicker and more textured for yeah. them, so it makes them look like they kind of stand out more. I thought that was pretty. The, cool. only, the only thing I didn't like visually was that one scene with with him running in the hallway, and the camera tries to do that that dynamic pan. And around. it looks bad. Yeah, <laughs> that just kind of makes me sick. Like that was kind of a transition. But like then again, 
if you're done well, maybe it's it, like or better. Like I know Attack on Titan kind of does. I was that literally stuff. gonna say, yeah, yeah, like Attack on Titan. It's it's really embarrassing, or it's not embarrassing, but it, it's really noteworthy <laughs> when an anime tries to do this and it can't because in 2013, Attack on Titan like mastered how to do these scenes where they basically made like a 3D environment and like would have the um, camera like go through this environment then they would hand animate the characters onto it well not yeah. hand, but you know what i mean like, yeah they would like 2d animate and so like having trying to do like the 3d background 2d animate thing and making it look really choppy is really just disorienting and i don't like it and speaking of the environment they, they like it's like an illusion the inside like changes kind of like a weird like pocket dimension kind of thing where like it this like you're still like a, you still see the swimming pool like so there's still things in the world yeah. but just like oh like the main like when you walk in it just looks like an apartment or like a dorm or whatever. Mm-hmm. I think they say it's only but, two stories, but yeah. when they get inside, it's like... It's like multiple. It's very like Madoka where... Yes, like, I was just... The, uh, the realm in, in Madoka Magica, like whatever the realm is, it gets like completely transformed by yes. the witch. So... It's cool, yeah. yeah, it's fine. Yeah, so, yeah, so then the encounter, the or the one, the, the hammer girl gets like teleported away. She just like falls into like a, a puddle. Goop, a goop puddle. Then um, there's also, okay, the important scene. Kugisaki. Kugasaki is her name? Yes, yes, yes. She gets Kaguya. Yeah, shut up. Um, so Kugasaki, whatever, she gets yeeted out. Before that, like, there's this big well, no, character she, well, moment. She, well, well, she she disappears, and then yeah, we we have this big character moment where um, Ichigo, Pink Ichigo, <laughs> what's his name? Do you have to have his name? <laughs> I do have his name. I was like Itadori. Itadori. So Itadori is like we have to save this guy, even though the guy's dead. And he's really, he doesn't want to save him. He wants to bring his corpse to the mom um, or guardian. Because, you know, we're, we're going to carry his corpse around all day. And also, he murdered a child because he drove on a, on no license twice. Yeah, so it's like... just like It's just like that stupid, like, it happens in this country, too, where, like, people who shouldn't be driving just drive anyway <laughs> and be a danger to everybody. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, nice character moment, just, like, fighting with that. Like, yeah, the guy kind of deserved it. Yeah, and, well, it's more so about, like, What's the name? Itadaki? Mm-hmm. Itagaki? It's more about, he asks Sasuke. He's like, Itadori, Jim. We eat, I was going to say, Itadori is, like is, 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 your, is your bleach boy. Itadaki, Itadori? Fushigoro is uh, Sasuke. Uh, these names are so out of my wheelhouse right now. All right, so we have Fushigoro is, is like fighting him and they're like, it's not worth saving all these people. Like the mission's important. And then he's like, well, then why did you save me? Like, why was I so important? And they're like, oh. Oh my god, they love each other. Character moment. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're just like Naruto and Sasuke, they're going to be making out by the end of this. <laughs> so, also another thing, like when he, when uh, Sasuke summons his, he does like the shadow pup. I think he does like shadow puppets of the animal he summons. Oh, okay. Like, I, was, a, I know he did like the. He does like, he does, like the wolf. Signs. Yeah. So, he, I'm pretty sure it, it's supposed to be like the shadow puppet of the animal. I really summons. like that detail. I hope you're right. I hope it's not just like stupid I'm ninja pretty sure. bullshit. Like, no, no, no. Naruto, no. they go <laughs> with their fingers. Hey, there's a whole grid about the Naruto hand signals. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is. Um, but no. So then, yeah, and then we have the the, de- the the demon curse reveal. I'm gonna always say demon when I know special it's grade demon. The special grade uh, demon, uh, they're just curse. Yeah, and he's got like a weird. He's really weird looking. I don't know how he I looks, feel about it. Like, he looks like something like like I try to remember like he looks like a random like One Punch Man monster that'd be a super yes. menacing threat and then just get KO'd immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he looks really intimidating, but that's actually weak, and that's kind of what he is like. He is like, like ultimately more, this like kind of jobbed out, like a grittier version of something from like Soul Eater. Like they took something it's oh, in the change the art style up to be actually, grittier, like the Keishin. He looks very similar to um, Krona's sword. Oh yeah, um, the 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 spirit that lives in Krona's yeah. sword, or the weapon, whatever the Meister. I can't, I don't remember the terminology. It's been a while. It's been a long time, but he looks very similar to Krona's sword from, um, yeah. It's, I don't know if the sword has a name. I'm it sure does. It I just forget. I haven't read Soul. I've been like Fire Force is on my mind more than Soul Eater, so. <laughs> All right, so just kind of jumping forward. This is already going long. I mean, but... I mean, yeah, they, they 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 get frozen with fear. Uh, they basically split up so he can get, find uh the girl who's being fighting mass and runs. She only has one patch of nails for some reason instead of just having like going the whole nineties marvel of having twenty thousand <laughs> pouches on you, which is like yeah. And her hammer seems to break very easily. This is one of those things that annoys me so much. Every time there's a character that's like an archer. It's like the Hawkeye problem. It's like they always need to like have a moment where they run out of arrows way too early. It's like, dude, your whole thing is that you have a, a like an amount of expendable at, like weapons, at like least, whistles. Like, at least in Marvel, like in the movies, one they have Hawkeye a sword as well. So when he's back out, he, he's out of arrows. He can just cut 
people like fools up. But yeah, no, you're right. And the one thing I thought was neat though is we see like we see um what's her name? Oh my god. Itadori, no. Um uh, we see um we see Well Jim ever remember no. Kugasaki. Kugasaki. We see Kugasaki fighting like several different curses, which was It was all it all neat. like 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 mass it kinda of like the uh the magic mirror from um like the original what Sleeping Beauty? The the hmm? the mirror mirror on the wall. Like it looked like that kind of just like mass is kind of a covering. Okay. Like it's a really it's a boss in uh, the Kingdom Hearts game where you fight that actual like magical mirror. Fun fact, in the original, never ever has there been a story or, where they okay. say magic when we when they say mirror mirror. It's never mirror mirror. Or, it's or always magic mirror. For, for more people who haven't seen the original one from Shrek where he does where Lord Farquaad <laughs> does the dating game. Yeah, the match game, match <laughs> the game. Magic, essentially, this, but yeah. Okay, but so, so yeah, he go he basically he gets his arm cut off from the monster. All he right. tries to fight him. He gets yes. royally fucked up. So okay, I wanted to. This is one of those like, like tiny things that irks me because I've seen so many shonen. When I the second I saw um, Ichigo lose his hand, I was like, this guy is just gonna regrow it. Like <laughs> every shonen character has lost their hand slash arm at one point. And then grows it back. It's just inevitable. It like, always fucking happens. I'm trying to think of, if you name any anything that where people like lost like a limb that's not an eye, like an actual like, arm or leg, and actually stayed gone. I, okay, I can, almost never. There, there, almost never. There, there is one, but they, <laughs> of course, yeah. Most of these are going to be spoilers. But, but. yeah, you know, the one, the one I'd say the huge spoiler, the end of Naruto, I'm not going to spoil. But like, they, it gets better. They get, they get, they get a fake limb. Yeah, they always regrow it, and then so. But I think the only thing to think of is the, there's like a side character in One Punch Man that just just stays with one arm. Like sure, it's like a sword character just stays with one arm. One Punch Man, I don't like to consider that part yeah. of, as a shonen though because I know. it's not I'm, like I'm just thinking of like these big things, just like where like a character can lose. But I can't think of anybody that actually like character, yeah. especially in shonen. So the main character, it's always the main character too. Like it happens to Gon, happens to um, like literally anyone you can think of, basically. Like yeah, Goku. I'm, it happens all the time in Dragon oh, Ball. Oh well, Piccolo loses limbs. Piccolo, <laughs> Piccolo makes he, grow, he can grow him back. Piccolo has a business of losing limbs. So um, I think Cell lost a limb a couple of times. Like Freelix gets his tail cut off. The guy doesn't grow back, but it's like it. We whatever, but we could go on forever. But like, <laughs> yeah, it, it's a thing that always happens. If you know an example of like someone actually like losing like an arm or a leg and actually staying gone for like the rest of it, they survive later on. Like in yeah. okay, specifically in Shonen, and, yeah, and must be main character, cannot be like side character. That does not count. We're talking about a main character here. Yeah. Um. But so, yeah, he loses his hand, and then we have this moment where... Even his fingertips on the other hand, too, eventually yeah, loses. Which is... that was Actually, I did like... Um, I'm giving the scene shit because I'm a like a, an edgelord. <laughs> but uh, I did like the part where he was, like, resisting the blast and, like, his yeah. lo- losing his fingers. It was very emotional. He was doing the plan of just, like, holding him back until the, he gets the sign to, like, switch. Because so, like, he knows the thing will go kill his friends if he doesn't... If they don't, like, get out. But yeah. So it. it was it was kind of we have this really good element of like we know that he's going to activate his superpower, but he's waiting because like there there's a time limit almost like he yeah. needs to survive. Well, we don't for even know. This yeah. Long, yeah. Which is cool. Like I, I, you really like that. You like when you see that. Love to see it. <laughs> um, so and, he, and then yeah. yeah, then he rescues him. He gives he gets the sign, and then he switches to evil finger man. Oh, also wait, no, there's one other thing. What? So um. Our main character, who I'll refer to as a main character, he does seem to make a curse punch. He seems to, he, even though we've seen him like receive literally no training uh, with jujitsu and curses, he seems to be able to manifest one punch. It's it's futile, but so he's already sort of like got that innate like shown in kind of main character thing where it's like, oh, I've got the power, but it doesn't work. Sukuna is also the finger man. So. Sukuna, okay, I was pretty close. Finger man. He's just going to be Finger Man, though. Yeah, we're going to call him Finger Man. Finger Man is so much funnier. Yeah, so but his original plan, though, when he actually unleashes him, he's just like, oh, I'm just going to take this, this spear, this curse, and literally go fuck up his two friends that are outside. Yes. And then, but, but luckily, he's too much of a... He's, like a, he's a little baby monster of, like, literally not going to do it. And... So, they, yeah, that's, that's what I... literally I, just destroys him. Yeah, that's what I, I really liked about this. So, 
it is not so his first thought when he wakes up is like how can i make the main character's life as horrible as possible <laughs> so he's like i can't just go and kill his friends because he'll just turn me off <laughs> but if i bring the curse to kill the friends because the power of friendship you know <laughs> it's gonna me over. yeah so honestly like i still think the power of friendship is going to snap him out back into probably. it probably someone's going to die but they're not really because because we obviously know like it's just, it has to happen it's just yeah that's just the foregone conclusion but Honestly, I found myself enjoying this. Like, I liked, I really loved this whole thing with the bad, the, hey, the, the a so, at the end. Yeah, so because he, he kills a monster really easily, makes this giant temple and slices up in like five pieces and grabs a finger out of him because he has a finger. Yeah, we did we did not know. He bears a finger. He has he has a finger inside. And I was like, so what if someone dies, but while they're dying, he just, like, he snaps out of it, has the finger hit, and feeds them the finger. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be interesting. Like, one of them is like, yeah, you're getting the finger down. Then there's two Sukunas. Yes. Two finger men. Yeah, that's how, is that how it would work? I'm not sure that could actually work that way, but... Or we'll like, see. or he just regurgitates the other two fingers out into them. Like, <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, we know that the fingers don't get destroyed. They're just, like, in his belly still, so... It's so uncomfortable. It is really uncomfortable. It's like a, having hiccups or a burping to see, like, the nails, like, like po <laughs> poke your stomach. It's like when a woman's pregnant, or <laughs> someone's pregnant, and they have, like... A kick? Yeah, like, you see the fingers poking through. Oh. Um, God, the core. All right, before we wrap this up, I just want to say, and yeah, but then yeah, basically he's like, okay, you can switch back now. Yes, huh? and then nothing happens, and, and then, then he's like, he gives the face. But uh, so my prediction is that there's actually still a threat to deal with. I think the the curse is not fully dealt with. I, I feel the once the fingers out, that monster is useless. I mean, you might be right, but like, they the camera just explicitly did not show the the curse after it erupted in the flames, so. I don't know. I don't know. I, th I think now the threat's gonna be to him. Goju's gonna show up after like the other two friends get, are like royally like. Well, one's like has bandages on her eyes or it looked, like on her head, it just like rolled on her eyes. But like, and then Sasuke's gonna be the only one able to fight, I guess, until Gojo appears and probably royally fuck fuck it up again. That'll be really interesting to see, to see Sasuke try and fight. I think uh, that's gonna happen. At least, at least by time, or like maybe the teacher guy with the glasses. If, I don't think he drove. He, they drove away yet. It's just I mean, no, no, he was driving away, and Sasuke did. Like, I gotta wait for him, and then yeah. So he's he's. If anyone dies, it's gonna need to be him, unless like he gets control again and just kills himself, and then gets better because he can't actually die with the curse in him. Mm. And, unless it's Gojo or some oh, shit. Oh yeah, because Gojo is like a level, like a special level as well, because he is like able to combat that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. All right. Do we have anything else we want to say? No, I think we're gonna wrap this it's up. It's much better than the first three. It was much. Yeah, it was better. I really have to say, Fingerman is winning it for me. Yeah, I want more Fingerman, please. A episode one kind of dragged for a first episode of it. Really of, did. of it. Second episode had like, at least, at least the uh, the the t it was it, it kind of interesting with like the you know the school and everything. The third episode was kind of whatever has some good moments, but like this one definitely gets the. I wonder if this is like the first official arc. Of it, or is this is just like another like, mo like monster mm. of the week kind of thing. I'm kind of curious like, how the manga yeah. is comparison to the anime. Like, like leave comment, leave comment. What do you prefer, the manga or the anime for like the first part? Hmm. Just like, in general, no spoilers. That's but like uh, yeah, because we talked about it in the first episode. But like, I was so curious as to what the first chapter of this manga is. Yeah, because like, it the first episode felt like it had so much unnecessary bullshit in it. Yeah. Oh, and the one thing we didn't really talk about was uh, the humor. Which I I found the humor to be very not good in this episode. Really not funny. They seem, they seem to want to do the cutting to two characters being like wacky, chibi, chibi, yeah, chibis weirdos. But, but maybe maybe it'll get better with the humor. But we'll see. All right, but yeah. So Jujutsu Kaisen, you're getting better. Yeah, getting there. Uh, meet me after <laughs> class. Maybe we'll see how good you can be later. God. So uh, yeah, thank you for listening uh, to this. Um, please <laughs> like, like or dislike, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. <laughs> Join the Discord, follow on Twitter for everything else, and we'll probably have. I'm not sure the, the spacing of these episode releases because this first, it may be more spaced out compared to the first three. It certainly will be. So just just be prepared that if you actually are still listening to this series, God, probably not though. But. <laughs> Anything else I'm missing? Um, no, yeah, we also do a JoJo podcast. I feel like we should also mention that, just just in case there are people that discover this. Yeah, we do a JoJolian podcast. Check that out. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. It's been, a, it's been a, this month's been a hiatus, but the month Mar the month of April is coming. Looking forward to a new one soon. Soon, we still got like a, like ha like a half a month or over like a literal month. Yeah, an entire month. Hopefully, manga decks will be saved by then. 
Oh, okay. Okay, let's talk about that off air. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Um, goodbye. Goodbye.